groceries done, lottery tickets done, and all this. Just in case. This the junior lieutenant getting us ready for our trip. This is Bliss. Good morning. Looking forward to our trip to Harper's Ferry, West Virginia. Just going over an interior check to make sure all items are secure and nothing moving around while we're in transit. And it appears that we're good. Also did an exterior check and we're also looking good too. Tires, engine, coolant, oil, full tank of gas. We're looking good, ready for our trip. Small trip today. It's under 100 miles for us. But we're gonna take us some scenes. This is Bliss. So even though I prepared yesterday, I did my shopping, um, I forgot a couple of things. So we stopped by the grocery store this morning. I have my energy drink and we're ready to roll. Road discussions. Just drove by a hospital that I went to in 2013 via ambulance. Um, but I was having some problems. And I went to the doctor's office and my body just showed up. And the captain followed. I think you had to go home and do something quickly. Had to get here. And so the captain finally found me probably about two or three hours later. And I had gotten all checked in. I got lost. He had gotten lost. But I think my doctor actually worked out of this hospital. So prayers and blessings to everybody that's inside of there being treated. So we just had somebody not want to let us over. Anyway, he zoomed up beside us, blew, blew us horn, and when I looked over, he gave us a finger. <laughs> he really was telling us what his IQ was. <laughs> so we can appreciate that. Bird. Your first ambulance uh, encounter was inside to watch the Macy's Day Parade, <laughs> Thanksgiving Parade. Back in the 60s, <laughs> early, early 60s. Those ambulances must have looked a lot different back then. <laughs> so did the balloons. Growing up in New York, Brooklyn, we had a friend of, the, a friend of my father's. He was an uh, ambulance driver. We were able to see the Macy's Day Parade up close and personal in, in or via his ambulance. And that's a memory that I have. So I can really say the first time that I've actually been in an ambulance, uh, that's my story. Other, other than working, working the streets. I don't have much of a story other than being in the streets of Los Angeles and having to go and rescue ambulances for victims. You have reached your destination on your right 343 campground road. Registration. I think this is it? I don't know. I can't see the numbers. Wow, it's crazy 11 too. Okay, that's it. That's it. And you see that masterpiece work that I did? Look at these babies. I'm right on there. I started and stopped just as I was told. And look where we are. Lovely. That's a lovely job. Look at that. You can't get it no better than that. The captain brings his leveler. Lays it out inside. So I helped get this all set up, but with me getting the instructions and the captain showing me, I wasn't able to get it all videoed. So here's all the hookups, all done. I did the electrical, yay! I'm gonna learn how to do all of it. But hey, this is a lot of work. My hat's off to the captain and anybody that does this plug up and unplug up. So I just told the captain, if anybody is dependent on me doing all these hookups, we need to be camping 
at least three or four days. I gotta get my money's worth out of all this exertion. So I started laying out things to make us comfortable. Hey, so this is a KOA and a journey. I took the captain to church on this one, y'all. <laughs> hey, there's something for the pets here, the family, the family reunion. There's a hall and the kids with the arcade. Okay, what's going on there? The captain been out there winning arcade game tickets. Back that up. Oh, it's just an umbrella. This is pretty neat. An indoor basketball court. And at 4 o'clock every day, the cannon goes off. Time for the parents to get over to Grapes and Grinds and buy some wine. As we walked around the campsite, we saw the various types of cabins that are available. There was a pretty large section where there were a lot of tents. And there was a very nice size comfort station. We attempted this 14 minute walk to the White Horse Tavern, but decided we were tired and had had enough for the day. Okay, so we were having a discussion because we meet a lot of people and they're all ages. All ages. And you can't always tell the age of somebody, you know. But it seems that between the age of 50 and 70. We have no idea. You have no idea. It really all depends on how well you take care of yourself. How you groom yourself. How you groom yourself. How you hold yourself. So we trying to be 100 and look 45. <laughs> oh, stress is everything a killer stress is a killer so how do you combat stress go camping <laughs> <laughs> watch our videos like subscribe and comment that's the ticket this is bliss <laughs> nice laundry room lots of washers and dryers to accommodate people you've got a sitting area here with a television got your change machine and more washers and dryers and soap bleach and softeners on this side and your folding tables one basket little folding table over there and a sink water basin down on the end. A couple more baskets. This is a test, handheld device. Yeah, it looks like I'm not holding anything. That's what we're talking about. Uh, come on, come in the picture, Janice. Uh, this is uh, not for content, it's just for editing purposes. So the captain, captain editor, can see how it works. I like the fact that it looks like you're not holding anything. And it will follow you anywhere. Okay. Well, let's walk around and see how well it does by following me. Okay. Looking good, Captain. Yeah, I'm looking good. Walk around again. Follow me. See what's happening. Getting some good video here. Yeah. Nice and steady. But this is a test. It's a test of a new device, and uh, hopefully Janice can use some of this video uh, 
as we're walking and talking and doing some things. And we're getting some good stuff. I think she's gonna like this. This is an upgrade as we attempt to provide better content for all of us. For all of us. Because you know, this is bliss. Tonight we're having spaghetti. And guess where all the herbs came from? The garden. Well, this is a video. You can walk to the other side. So we are in the town of Harper's Ferry. Here we go. The John Brown Raid of 1859 put the town of Harper's Ferry in the history books. Brown desired to end slavery, not just in Harper's Ferry, but nationwide. Harper's Ferry was a gateway because of the Potomac and Shenandoah Rivers. It was also a federal artillery with thousands of weapons. the location of John Brown's last stand. So this is the Water Gap, and these are the Blue Ridge Mountains. And this location is where the Potomac and the Shenandoah River meet. So we're on the Appalachian National Scenic Trail. And they say actually, if you go south, you can get to Georgia and North Maine. We're gonna head north right now. Just for a little bit. Baltimore and Ohio Railroad at the Harper Ferry Station. So this is the part where the visit to this little town of Harper's Ferry became real. We visited the John Brown Wax Museum, which graphically tells the life story of this militant abolitionist. And it does so with life-size figures. It was a moving experience. On a lighter note, we got on back over to our campsite at the KOA and prepared dinner. 